hello guys welcome back to another android application development tutorial in this video we are going to learn about how to use the date picker and time picker in our android application first here i am going to show you how to use a time picker so we can prepare the layout for display a time picker here i place a text view we use this text view to display the selected time Change the text size into 20 SP. Change the ID of the text view into TXT time. Now add a button. So we can use this button for display the time picker. Create a margin at the top. Now change the text on the button, set to time. Now go to main activity. Create an on-click method for the button, set to time. Now go to the layout, specify the on-click method for the button. Select that method. Now the layout is ready. Now go to main activity. So first here I am going to implement some interface for handle the time set. Here I implement the listener called on time set listener and implement the method. So the recommended way to display a date picker or time picker is by using a dialog fragment. So here I am going to create a class called a time picker dialog fragment. Specify the super class. The super class is a dialog fragment. Now override the method on create dialog. From this method we need to return an object of a dialog. So first we have to get the current hour and minute. For that here I use an instance of calendar class. Now get the current hour and current minute. Now for handle the time set listener, create some variables for main activity. Now create a constructor for initialize the main activity variable. This constructor need one parameter that is a context object. Now main activity is, is equal to context. Now cast it into main activity. Now we can create and return the dialog. So create variables for time picker dialog. First parameter is context. Second parameter is the listener. Third parameter is the current hour, minute. And last, last parameter is 24 hour format. So date format dot is 24 hour format and get activity. So now come back to main activity. First we can display the dialog. So create variables for the class time picker dialog fragment. Now on that object you have to call the method called show. Need two parameter. First one is the fragment manager and second parameter is a tag for the transaction. Now create variables for text view. We need to display the selected time using this text view. Now from the on time set method we can display the selected time using the text view. Display the selected time using the text view. Now we can test the project. I run the project. Now the application available on this virtual device. Set to time. Here is the time picker dialog. 
select hour now select minute I select pm now select another time now select minute now select am 10 5 am okay this is how we using a time picker now I am going to show you how to use a date picker for that we can add another text view and button to the layout place a text view for display the selected date change the text size now change the ID of the text view now create a button specify a margin at the top now change the text of the button set date now specify an on click method for the button now go to the layout and specify the on click method set to date now select the first text view remove some margin at the top now go to main activity for specify the listeners for the date picker here I am going to implement another interface on date set listener now override method implement method on date set here also we are going to create a date picker by using dialog fragment so create a class called date picker dialog fragment specify the super class here the super class is dialog fragment now override method called on create dialog here also we need to create variables for main activity for handle the listener create a constructor with one parameter is a context object now initialize the main activity variables from the constructor now we can so first I need to get the current date for that here I create an instance of calendar now get the year now get the month now get the day day of month ok now we can create the dialog new time picker dialog So here we need to create a date picker dialog not time picker dialog create a date picker dialog first parameter is context second parameter is the listener third one is the year month day now go to main activity first we can display the dialog first I set the date on the text view select date on the text view
now create a variables for text view the text view date initialize that variable now display the selected date using the text view now we can display the dialog create variables for the date picker dialog fragment now by using that variable call the method called show first parameter is the support fragment manager second parameter is a tag now we can test it so I run the project now set the date select a date first I change the year into 2021 now select a date it is the selected date now change another date now set the time so this is how we use a time picker and date picker in our Android application I hope you understand the concept for getting more Android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now